We've all heard positive tales of the roaring 20s. So why not roll into 2020 with some roaring new engine power? From sports cars to classic gems to monster trucks or James Bond-like getaway cars. Hi, I'm Glenn, and we're going to review some of the hottest upcoming vehicles in 2020. Number 15. The McLaren 720S Spider may not be able to spin a web, but it sure can give you quite the thrill, going from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 3 seconds. With a 710 horsepower and top speed of 212 miles per hour, you'll be able to cover some road confidently. This convertible has a hard top roof with a glass panel that adjusts its tint with the press of a button. Heated leather seats make for a cozy option, and with the wind guard positioned on point, you won't have to worry about shouting at your passenger to be heard. Number 14. With its new makeover, this Nissan model has us gawking at its improvements, especially since more weight from the front fender and wheels have been shaved off compared to its 2019 twin. Its 600 horsepower and 481 pound-foot of torque have remained steady. However, the acceleration response has increased by 20%. New carbon ceramic brakes make for better efficiency, while the six-speed dual-clutch transmission allows you to transition with ease. Its new and improved Recaro seats are said to grip your body to help you stay secure. Although it sounds like this GTR Nismo is trying to flirt with us, being all touchy-feely up front, we're willing to see how it fares. Number 13. A suave choice. If you're going for a sports-type car, the Audi R8 V10 has commendable performance. A 602 horsepower and 413 pound-foot of torque give it a nice boost from its earlier models. It's an all-wheel drive with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Some interior upgrades that you may find appealing include silver or brown leather choices and a wireless phone charger. The Decennium Edition is extra suave and regal, with its copper stitching, gold wheels, and extra micro suede. You'll also find that the engineers improved the braking system and added a dry, wet, and snow driving mode to the dynamic select system. Number 12. The Ferrari F8 Tributo is piping hot with its improved aerodynamic designs. In its interior, a new generation steering wheel and commands are present as well as newly styled seats. There's an optional 7-inch infotainment touchscreen available for the passenger side as well. Its engine is a bit of a spitfire with a 710 horsepower. You can expect to jump up to 60 miles an hour in under 3 seconds. This Ferrari keeps some traditional designs like the four round tail lights and louvered rear window, but reflects some modernization, especially when it comes to its aerodynamic lines. Number 11. With a sleek and all-around attractive body, the Lamborghini Huracan Evo gives us some new style and techie things to admire. A top speed of 202 miles per hour, a horsepower of 631, and 442 pound-foot of torque are some under-the-hood improvements from the last model. Stepping a little further into the 21st and 22nd century, the designers have added an 8.4-inch touchscreen that sits in the center console. The new system is capable of streaming web radio, is compatible with Apple, and has multi-touch shortcuts. It also has an optional two-camera telemetry system which logs data and video with track laps.
Number 10. Although the details are limited, we can see this six-wheeled Monster X dominating the road with its Hulk-like bulk. With a horsepower of 258 and 406 pound-foot of torque, it suddenly becomes less intimidating, but hey, they say image is everything. A light bar rests on the hood like a king's crown, and in the bed is a striking yellow color that stands out on the truck's dark carbon fiber body. The Monster X has a winch on each end, which can help free your vehicle from the most significant and slimiest scenarios. This brute includes ceramic carbon disc brakes, and with a few more tweaks, is hoped to move into production soon. Number nine. The Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 has some supercharge to it with its 760 horsepower and 625 pound-foot of torque. It's anticipated to hit 60 miles per hour in just under three seconds. Faux suede and accent stitching cover the door panels, and optional Recaro racing seats are available. A 12-inch full-colored LCD instrument cluster and an 8-inch touchscreen is part of the Mustang's technological advancement. Also with its interior, the rear seat was removed to minimize weight. Number 8. It's got swag with its rear wheel drive and 335 horsepower and 365 pound foot of torque. Achieving 60 miles an hour within 4.1 seconds and having an equal weight distribution, the GR Supra does an excellent job in windy conditions and handles curves with poise. It has a top speed of 155 miles per hour and can get 31 miles per gallon. Inside this beauty comes an 8.8 inch screen digital gauge cluster, and Toyota's Safety Sense suite. Simple interior designs with a few optional technological upgrades makes this practically attractive. You can add the driver assist package or download the Supra Connect app to get updates on your car's health. Number seven. One of the many improvements with the Porsche 911 is the enlargement of the diameter in the rear wheels, which betters its dynamics. There's less interior noise and emissions are reduced with a better filter in the exhaust system. A healthy 444 horsepower engine and 590 pound-foot of torque get this silver bullet going to 60 miles an hour in 3.3 seconds to be exact. A new 10.9-inch touchscreen is inside with improved processing speeds, and more evolved safety systems are now available, such as the forward collision warnings, auto emergency braking, and a new wet mode. Number 6. The Arus Senate comes with LED headlights and high beam operation. Safety systems are in place, including nine airbags for passengers. Moving into the back of the sedan are adjustable seats, which offer ventilation and massage functions. An integrated bar compartment with a fridge is on board, so you can get your buzz started early. Why not stream your favorite shows while you're at it with the multiple flat screens and wireless headphones? Its luxury interior is sure to astound some onlookers. It does have a surprising amount of horsepower, which ranges at about 598, and its all-wheel drive makes for some stable cruising. It's pretty apparent that the Arus Senate is trying to seduce us with all of its extra amenities, and we can't deny that they are pretty cool. Number five. The Bugatti Devo wowed on its first day, ultimately selling out. Its futuristic look is accented by the blue hues and clean aerodynamic lines that run along the body. This vehicle was intended for racing with a 1500 horsepower 
and a top speed of 236 miles per hour. Its acceleration does not fail to impress either, going from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds. Its sharp luxury design definitely has our attention. Ooh la la! Number four. Did someone say they wanted more speed and horsepower? The Jesco has just that, looking like it's ready to pierce through the air. Capable of going over 300 miles per hour, with a horsepower of 1600, we must commend such a fierce engine. The steering wheel has advanced with a central screen located right behind it that turns as you turn. Its newly designed doors open more upward and outward, and the auto skin system's sensors help protect the automated doors from hitting unwanted or wanted objects. The Jesco also gives you the option of choosing Alcantara or leather seats with quite the color variation. Number three. There's an eloquence to the McLaren GT. Its engine power is around average with 465 pound-foot of torque and a 612 horsepower and a speed that'll reach 203 miles per hour. Leather, microfiber, and even cashmere seating will be offered to give the GT added luxury. A more intelligent 12.3-inch infotainment system makes those techie geeks happy. And we're told that the GT is even quieter despite the location of the engine. Number two. It has all the classic gangster vibes with its vintage design and dark, inconspicuous metal flesh. This electric Mustang is molding classic design with new age evolvement, and it's reducing those disgusting carbon emissions. You get a respectable 200 mile range with one charge. It has a top speed of 149 miles per hour and a 536 horsepower motor with the ability to reach 60 miles an hour in four seconds. A fabulously equipped infotainment center rests in the middle of the dash and switching gears is as easy as a simple touch. This righteous knockout made its debut this year at the Goodwood Festival of Speed and is limited to about 500 buyers. Number one. You've probably heard us talk about the PAL V before. Well, we've got some pretty cool updates to share about this flying car. This crossbreed that looks like a helicopter speedster from a galaxy far, far away will only be available to 90 lucky buyers. On land and in drive mode, this three-wheeler is capable of going 100 miles an hour and can cover a range of 817 miles. To ready for flight, all one needs to do is pull the tail section and unfold the rotor blades. Once in the clouds, the PAL-V can accomplish 112 miles per hour over a 310 mile range. The landing shouldn't be as tricky as Luke Skywalker trying to land his aircraft for you only need 98 feet of runway. The interior contains leather and of course an electric flight instrument system, which requires the pilot to get their license. It looks like the new decade is bringing us some classy and modern advances, especially when it comes to our transportation. Roar up the engines, we're ready. Remember to check the descriptions box below for pricing and other details. Share in the comments below which vehicle you dig or which one you predict will lead the way in 2020. 
Until next time, thanks for watching.